Hey, I'm Guido Gaguzzi, and you're watching How to Do Shit with Guido Gaguzzi. With me, I got my niece's dance instructor, the very lovely Denise Scapolati, to help me teach you how to be a gentleman on a date. You thought this was a date. Excuse me? Because it's not. We're just friends. Just friends? Why are you getting angry? I just don't want to lead you on, okay? You answered my texts. You allowed me to transition those texts into a very uncomfortable phone call. Then you accept my proposal to meet and share food in a public place. How the fuck is this not all leading me on? You know, just because a woman goes out with a man doesn't mean it's a date. Did you hope to have sex at the end of this? I hope to have sex at the end of everything. We are just friends. There are people I know my entire fucking life and I don't consider them friends. What makes you so special you can jump from stranger, past acquaintance, all the way to just fucking friends? I didn't bring my wallet. You just expected me to pay? Some fucking friend you are! Hey, I'm Guido Gaguzzi and you're watching How to Do Shit with Guido Gaguz. Today I got my brother-in-law John Castillo Terry who's gonna show me how to show you how to use Instagram. Thanks Gigi. So, Instagram is a thing that lets you post pictures to your phone with the hopes that people like it. Yeah, yeah, like the picture of little Serafino I got at his christening. Ooh, that is a good one. You saw that? Yeah, the one at the uh, church with the priest. Did you like it? Yeah, sure, I like it. But you didn't like it. Gigi, I like it. But not like it like it. What the hell is like it like it? I mean, you didn't like it in the sense you didn't press the like button like it. So what? Clearly you saw it. You remember very specific details about it, but then you actively scroll past it without taking a split second to press the like button? What are you, some kind of a fucking sociopath? Why can't I just like it without liking it? What's the difference? It's a public record of you liking it. A public record. And so if you like it like you say you like it, you won't be afraid to press the like button and publicly like it. Unless, of course, you'd like it if no one knew you like it. I didn't like it. I don't like you! I don't like Get it! Get the I don't fuck! Like it. Hey, hey, I'm Guido Gaguz, and you're watching How to Do Shit with Guido Gaguz. With me, I got my dry cleaner's daughter, the very talented Ava Faruqi, and we're going to teach you how to draw. Thank you, Mr. Gaguzzi. On this piece of paper, I've drawn a circle. Now, I gotta admit, that looks more like an oval to me. Yeah, well, it is what it is. What? What? What did you just say? It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Of course it is what it is. You think I'm a fucking idiot? No. Everything is what it is. You ever hear something that is what it isn't? I mean, there are things that are what they aren't. Are what they aren't. No, Ava, you're thinking of things that aren't what they are. Aren't what they are. Yeah, something that isn't what it is. That's a lot different than something that is what it isn't. Mr. Gaguzzi, this is not productive. Productive? Ava, this is the basic fabric of organized society. If we can't agree that this is this or that is that, we're no better than the fucking Anamali. Well, it seems to me. Seems? No, this isn't what it seems. Although it seems that it is. You're exhausting. What can I say? I am what I am. Hey, I'm Guido Gaguzzi, and you're watching How to Do Shit with Guido Gaguzzi. Today, I'm going to show you how to properly use a disgusting public toilet with my old friend and Puerto Rican plumber, Ronnie Rivera. Now, personally, even before I get to the traditional double layer bird's nest... Listen, Gigi, I, I'm not comfortable in here. What? What do you mean? I'm ahead of my fall. A what? Ahead of my fall. Oh! First of all, three of my six godsons are gay, so get over yourself. Secondly, just because we're in a public bathroom stall together, you're making assumptions, Ronnie. No, 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 no. I'm true. I had my phone. Oh, a ger- a germaphobe. Wait, how the hell are you a plumber, for Christ's sakes? You're a germaphobe? What, you saying because I'm a germaphobe that I can't be a plumber? How the fuck can you be a plumber? I think that you are prejudiced against my germaphobia. I think you're prejudiced against germs. Oh, I'm not prejudiced against germs. All right, touch the toilet. Go ahead, touch it. Well, I don't need to touch the toilet. Why should I touch the toilet? Because that's how you build your immune systems, your antibodies. I'm not going to touch, touch the it. toilet. Touch no, get your hands off of me. Touch no. It. Get in it. No, touch it. Fucking thank me later. Touch it. Put your hand on it. Hey, I'm Guido Gaguzzi, and you're watching How to Do Shit with Guido Gaguz. Today I'm going to show you how to buy property with my good friend and jewel real estate agent, Eli Bumblat. Eli, this place is pretty you nice. Know, Guido, get... could you not refer to me as a Jew real estate agent? Just call me a real estate agent. But then how would everyone know? Know what? That you're Jewish. Why do they need to know that I'm Jewish? It's a selling point. We got a problem being Jewish now? No, of course not. If you call me your Italian pizza chef, I think you'd be very good for business. But you're not a pizza chef. That's just semantics. That's not semantics. So you got a problem with semantics now too? When you say the word Jew like that, it becomes a pejorative. Well, that's your pejorative. It's anti-Semitic. So you're a Jew, but I can't call you a Jew. <laughs> See, now you're talking semantics. So you do got a problem with my semantics. You're anti-semantic. I'm not anti-semantic. You sound anti-semantic. Your semantics make you sound anti Semitic. Don't fucking call Don't me anti-Semitic. Anti Semantic. Oh, the Everybody's got to be so specific. I love semantics. semantics. 
So tell me about the neighborhood. It's a little Jewy. Mm. Hey, hey, I'm Guido Gaguz, and you're watching How to Do Shit with Guido Gaguz. With me, I got my accountant secretary, the lovely Rachel Capote Wheeler. Hi. <laughs> and we're gonna show you how to take a screenshot with your cell phone. Now, as you can see here on my camera roll, I got a screenshot of a text conversation I have with my butcher. Oh, what the hell are you doing? What do you mean? You just swiped in the next photo. So what? Wait, so what? I give you my phone with a pre-selected photo, ready for viewing, and you just what, make yourself at home and swipe to the next one? Everybody swipes. No, 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 no. I only swipe when given clear instruction to swipe. All of my swipes are solicited swipes. Yours was an unsanctioned swipe. An unsanctioned swipe. And I cannot be held accountable for what you may or may not see following said swipe. I don't understand what the big deal is. Well, I made myself vulnerable to you. As a he just did it again! You're being childish, Guido. Childish? What if you saw something inappropriate? What could I possibly see that's inappropriate? Oh, oh, oh my god! Please don't tell me that is an entire salami inside yeah, that, 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 that. That's between me and my butcher. But also, yes. Hey, hey, I'm Guido Gaguzzi, and you're watching How to Do Shit with Guido Gaguzzi. Today, I'm going to show you how to tie a tie with the help of my gay nephew, Peter Pisciatello. Gay? I'm not gay. The fuck are you talking about? Of course you are. No, I'm not. Why would you think I was gay? You ever hear yourself talk, Peter? You're gay. Uh, what are you talking about? This is how I talk. Peter, you got nothing to be ashamed about. The whole family supports you. Excuse me, the whole family? Of course. We've known since you were a little kid. Come on. Uncle Cheech, I'm not gay. Oh, seriously? Yes, seriously. Why are you getting upset? Well, for years I've been telling the guys at the club that I have a gay nephew. Now I find out it's all bullshit. How do you think that makes me look? How does that make you look? Yeah, the whole family's taken as a source of pride that we have a gay. Now, is there anything wrong with you not being gay? I'm just saying, if you were, which apparently you're not, we'd have all been very fucking supportive. I'm sorry? You know, I thought we had a cultured, progressive family, and now I find out he's what, some straight fucking white guy? Uncle G. And I come to you for fashion advice? Get the fuck out of my sight. Disgraziato. Turn those cameras off right now. Shut that fucking thing off. You know he's gonna break your mother's heart, right? Hey, hey, I'm Guido Gaguzzi, and you're watching How to Do Shit with Guido Gaguzzi. Today, I got my cousin's cousin, Lena Desperza, who's gonna help me teach you how to lose weight. Thanks, Gigi. Hey, should I take my shoes off on the carpet? No, no, it's fine. Okay, great. So, the first thing you want to do if you're trying to lose weight is monitor what you're eating. Wow. <laughs> what is it, Gigi? I'm just surprised you didn't, you know, take your shoes off. You just told me not to. I thought you put up more of a fight. More of a fight? You asked, should I take my shoes off? I said no, and what, you just accepted that? Not even an are you sure? Why do I need an are you sure? I was sure you were sure. Well, I wasn't sure. It's a new carpet. I just vacuumed. You know what? You want me to take my shoes off? I'll take my fucking shoes nah, off. Nah, nah, nah. It's too late now. Too late? I don't want you to take them off because I told you to take them off. I want you to want to take them off. I don't want to take them off. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. But are you sure you're sure? If you want to lose weight, the first thing you want to do is take your fucking shoes off. Take them off. Take your. Hey, I'm Guido Gaguzzi, and you're watching How to Do Shit with Guido Gaguzzi. Today, I'm going to show you how to take a proper nap. With me, I got my wife's brother, John Castellateri, who's going to help me show you how to do what I just said. Thanks, Gigi. Step one, clear your head. We're going for a dreamless sleep here. That reminds me, I had a dream about your sister yesterday. After Wait, you... my sister? Yeah. Ben, you're going to want to put your Wait, what do you mean up. dream? What kind of dream? A sex dream. Oh, that's my sister we're fucking talking about. You're having sex with my sister in reality. But that's my wife. I got a fucking contract with the priest. You're having premarital sex dreams. I can't control my dreams, all right? It just happened. I was at work. It was whoa, 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 whoa. You were at work. So this happened during the day. Yeah. You were awake then. Technically. That's a daydream. What the fuck is the difference? There's a huge difference. If I'm walking around when I'm sleeping, I'm sleepwalking. If I'm walking around with my eyes closed, I'm an asshole. Are you calling me an asshole? I would never dream of calling you an asshole. But would you daydream it? Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm Guido Gaguzzi, and you're watching How to Do Shit with Guido Gaguzzi. With me, I got my mortgage broker, Carlo Dilworth, and we're going to show you how to delete Facebook. All right, Guido, are you sure you want to do this? Absolutely. I'm so sick and tired of seeing photos of other people's kids. I can barely tolerate my own kids. I got to look at yours. Okay, so what you're going to do is go into your settings right yeah, here. Yeah, that being said, I do like it when somebody posts something funny, and then I share it as my own idea. It feels good. I don't think you're supposed to do And again, wishing everybody happy birthday, that's a full-time job. I can't keep up. I can't have it. Okay. So what you're gonna do is go into your settings right here. But I do love the interface though. The blue and white colors are very excellent on the eye. So, you know. Do you want to delete Facebook or not? I don't know what I want. I think you're addicted. It's just that if I delete Facebook, where am I gonna get all my trusted news from? Guido, you can't believe everything you read on Facebook. But it's posted by my friends. If I can't trust them, who can I trust? Everything you're saying is incorrect. Then how do I know your wife is cheating on you with some guy named Mark? Guido, Mark is our two-year-old son. What? We were at his birthday. Look, 
Wait up! What? Jesus Christ, Carl, enough with the pictures of your fucking kids! Hey, hey, I'm Guido Gagutz, and you're watching How to Do Shit with Guido Gagutz. With me is my only favorite nephew, Peter Pisciatello, and we're gonna talk to you about how to watch Game of Thrones. Alright, what I miss? Wait a second, why is she having sex with that guy? I thought she's married to the king. She's cheating on him with her brother. What? That's her brother. Who? Him. The guy she's fucking? Yeah. She's fucking her brother? Yes. I mean, uh, second cousins, I understand. We've all been there, you know. First cousins may be in a pinch, but brother and sister. Oh my God, can we watch, please? I'm all for keeping the bloodlines pure, people. You gotta draw a line somewhere. This is irresponsible. It was the Middle Ages, okay? It was a different time. I'm middle-aged. I'm from a different time. You don't see me screw my sister. You mean my mother? That's disgusting. Yeah, she may be disgusting now, but Pete, when we was growing up, I mean... God, oh my god, oh my god, ew, stop it, okay? What, all I'm saying is all the guys in the neighborhood want a piece of that ass, right? What if the show was on back then, huh? Think about that. Okay, what the hell are you saying? I don't know what I'm saying, I gotta get out of here. Say to your mother for me. Hey, hey, I'm Guido Gagutz, and you're watching How to Do Shit with Guido Gagutz. With me, I got my Uncle Jerry's registered nurse, Rashida Espinoza, and we're going to show you how to wash your hands. Thank you, Gigi. Yeah. Washing your hands properly is essential during flu season, especially this year with all these viruses going around. <laughs> what the hell? I'm sorry. I, uh... You're sick, Gigi. I'm not sick. It's allergies. Allergies? This place is full of cat hair. It's disgusting. You know I have cats. Why didn't you take Benadryl? You know I have allergies. Why didn't you vacuum? They're your allergies. They're your cats. My cats don't shed, Gigi. They're hypoallergenic. Hypoallergenic. <laughs> That's propaganda used to some more cats. Admit it. You're sick. You need to self-quarantine. You're gonna put me in solitary confinement while you're soul-sucking devil cats roam free? You're spreading the virus because you're in denial. And you're spreading mass hysteria and disinformation on animal hypoallergenics. Humans and cats should not live in such close proximity. This place is like a Chinese wet market. I said, sir! You know, I'm actually feeling a little feverish. You probably should, uh, you probably should wash your hands. Hey, hey, I'm Guido Gagutz, and you're watching How to Do Shit with Guido Gagutz. Today we're going to talk to you about how to be a better wife with the help of my wife's wife coach, Hannah Hernandez. Hello and thank you, Guido, but I'm actually a life coach, not a wife coach. A life coach? Yes. I thought you said you were a wife coach. What's a wife coach? Somebody who's coaching my wife on how to be a better wife. No, no, no. I'm coaching your wife on how to live a better life. A better life? What's wrong with my wife's life? She's got a great life. <laughs> Are you fucking my wife? Excuse me? Are you fucking my wife? <laughs> no, of course I'm not fucking your wife. She sees you twice a week. Her spirits are up. She's barely busting my balls. For Christ's sakes, I'm not fucking her. Don't tell me you're not fucking my wife. I, I would never. Never? No, never. Oh, so you think you're too good to fuck my wife? No, of course I'm not too good to fuck your wife. Oh, so you think you're good enough to fuck my wife? <laughs> I'm not fucking... What the fuck are you trying to say? I, I'm a happily married man, Guido, see? Wait, that's your wife? Yes. This one right here, that's your wife? Yes, that's my wife. I don't know how to say this, Hunter, but I, uh, I think I fucked your wife. <laughs>